Babur made many attempts to conquer the neighboring lands. But every time, he was displaced by his enemies. Frustrated and out of desperation, he crossed the Hindu Kush mountains and captured Kabul. Here, without much interference from his enemies, he was able to set up his kingdom and build his armies by conquering the lands nearby. In the process, he gained control of additional armies and some important cities such as Kandahar. Soon, once he had a powerful enough army, he turned his attention to the Delhi Sultanate, where Ibrahim Lodi was in power. This would be the first battle of Panipat in 1526. Ibrahim Lodi was probably pretty confident, given the size of his army and the number of elephants he had. But now was the time that Babur decided to surprise Lodi with a new weapon of war that the Lodis hadn't seen before. Cannons filled with gunpowder. Babur used cannons in this war strategy that he called Tulguma strategy. How does it work? First, the whole army was divided into left, right and center flanks. Second, the center flanks had carts connected with ropes facing the enemy. Third, behind this arrangement, there were cannons placed behind movable mantlets. The left and right flanks would encircle the entire enemy army and the middle flank would force them to face artillery fire from the cannons. This system improved the defense as well as the attack of the Mughal army as the cannons were easily shielded by the cart mantlet combination and cannons could also be moved to new places to hit new targets with the help of the wheels of the mantlets. Genius strategy, isn't it? It worked like a charm. It was a devastating battle. Ibrahim Lodi's elephants freaked out and started going haywire in the field. They started trampling their own troops. The soldiers were losing courage. They had never seen anything like this in their entire lives. At the end of the first battle of Panipat, the Delhi Sultanate was, with finality, overthrown. And Babur's Mughal army was the undoubted victor. But Babur couldn't rest easy yet. There was another power in the subcontinent, the Rajputs. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.